ஹை டியர்ஸ் குட் மார்னிங் வெல்கம் டு நியூ மேக்ஸ் கிளாஸ் ஆர் யூ ரெடி ஓகே லெட் ஸ்டார்ட் டுடேஸ் கிளாஸ் டேக் யுவர் மேக்ஸ் டெக்ஸ்ட் பேஜ் நம்பர் ஃபோர்ட்டி நைன் ரைஸ் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் ஃபோர் ஓணம் ஃபைவ் கிலோகிராம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரைஸ் வில் பி கிவன் டு ஈச் சைல்ட் லுக் அட் த பிக்சர் யூ கேன் சி டூ லோரிஸ் ஏ பிக் ஒன் அண்ட் ஏ ஸ்மால் ஒன் 3600 thousand six hundred kilograms in the first and one thousand nine hundred kilograms in the second in the first vehicle that means in the red vehicle three thousand six hundred kilograms rice and in the blue color vehicle they brought one thousand nine hundred kilograms rice our first question is how much rice is brought total how much rice how can we find yes by adding 3600 plus 1900 we got the total of rice add these numbers 3600 plus 1900 what is your answer how can we add this yes like this 3600 plus 1900 what is the answer yes 5500 how much rice total 5500 kg 5000 kilograms was distributed in 2 days 1000 kilograms more was given on the second day than on the first okay what they say here yes how much kilogram of rice they got total yes 5500 kg in first 2 days they distributed 5000 kg rice okay first 2 days they distribute 5000 kg rice 1000 kg more was given on the second day than on the first day what they say here total they distribute 5000 kg rice but in the first day and second day they do not distribute equal quantity of rice in second day they distribute 1000 kg more രണ്ടു ദിവസവും കൂടി അയ്യായിരം കിലോഗ്രാം ഫൈവ് തൗസൻഡ് കിലോഗ്രാം റൈസ് ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂട്ട് ചെയ്തു ഫസ്റ്റ് ഡേയിൽ കൊടുത്തതിനേക്കാളും വൺ തൗസൻഡ് കിലോഗ്രാം മോറാണ് സെക്കൻഡ് ഡേയിൽ കൊടുത്തത് വട്ട് ഇസ് അവർ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഹിയർ ഹൗ മച്ച് വാസ് ഗിവൺ ഇൻ ഈച്ച് ഡേ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഡേ ഹൗ മച്ച് കിലോഗ്രാം റൈസ് വാസ് ഗിവൺ ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ഡേ ഹൗ മച്ച് കിലോഗ്രാം റൈസ് വാസ് ഗിവൺ how can we find this total amount of distributed rice is 5000 kg 1000 kg more was distributed on the second day than on the first day okay first we remove that 1000 1000 kg rice from 5000 kg okay which 1000 yes the more given rice was take away from that 5000 then what is the A remaining amount yes that is 4000 adhigam kodutha 1000 kg nammal maati vechu baaki 4000 okay that 4000 was distributed equally then what is the amount yes first day 2000 second day 2000 okay the more the 1000 kg was on the second day so we add that 1000 to the second day then how much on the second day yes 3000 first day they distribute 2000 kg and second day they distribute 3000 kg total 5000 kg okay dears let us go to the next problem milk distribution the school buys milk from the dairy farmers society okay uh, listen their conversation last week 4704 rupees this week 100 rupees less what is our question how much should be paid to the society for the two weeks what is the amount on the last week 4704 then what is the amount on this week they do not give directly what they given here yes this week 100 rupees less than last week what is the last week amount 4704 so this week 
hundred rupees less than four thousand seven hundred and four. What is that amount? How can we find? Yes, four thousand seven hundred and four minus hundred. We can do it in mind. What is the answer? Yes, four thousand six hundred and four. Okay, how can we find the total amount? Yes, by adding four thousand seven hundred and four plus four thousand six hundred and four. What is the answer? Yes, nine thousand three hundred and eight rupees. Okay, listen to the next question. Construct a magic square using the numbers. Look here. We can see a square with three columns and three rows. One number is given in that square. Which number? Two thousand two hundred and twenty-two. The middle number. We want to complete this magic square by filling these boxes using the above numbers. Okay. You already studied about magic square. What is the speciality of magic square? In a magic square, the sum of the numbers in row wise, column wise, or corner wise all are same. How can we find that sum? Yes, which is the middle number here? Two thousand two hundred and twenty-two. Okay. How many columns and rows? Yes, three column and three rows. So the sum in this magic square is two thousand two hundred and twenty-two into three. Which three? Yes, column and rows are three. So that three into the middle number, two thousand two hundred and twenty-two into three. What is what is the answer? Yes, six thousand six hundred and sixty-six is the sum in this magic square. Then tell me, dears, how can we arrange the remaining eight numbers in this column? Yes, we. Carefully note that the sum of the numbers in each row and each column and corner wise are six thousand six hundred and sixty-six. Okay, try it, my dears. Teacher will give you a trick for arrange these numbers. Listen here. First, you arrange the numbers in ascending order. The given nine numbers, you arrange them in Smallest to biggest. That means in ascending order. Here I arrange that numbers in ascending order. Okay, look here. Okay, then the second step. Put the letters A to I for the above numbers. Like this. A B C D E F G H and I. First, you arrange the given numbers in ascending order. Then put the letters A to I for that number. Okay. Then write the numbers as H A F C E G and D I B. That means here we write the number as in H. That means three thousand ninety eight. Here one thousand fifty two F. Two thousand five hundred and fourteen. C. Which number? Six. One thousand six hundred and thirty-eight. Like this. This is a magic square. That means row wise, column wise, and corner to corner wise. The sum is six thousand six hundred and sixty-six. You by heart this pattern. Okay. H A F C E G. D I B. First, you arrange the given numbers in ascending order. Then put A B C D E F G H and I to this number. Ascending order. Lock it. Then A B C D. Then I will write it. Then we by heart this pattern. H A F C E G D I B. Then put the number H here. H which is the corresponding number for H. Three thousand ninety-eight, which is the corresponding number for a one thousand fifty-four, which is the corresponding number for f two thousand five hundred and forty, which is the corresponding number for c one thousand six hundred and thirty-eight, e two thousand two hundred and twenty-two, g two thousand eight hundred and six, like this. When then we got a magic square. That means when we add 
in column wise or row wise or or corner wise the answer is same that which is the answer here 6666 okay one more thing listen here when we arrange these numbers in ascending order the difference between the consecutive numbers are same that means 1346 minus 1054 is same as 1638 minus 1346 is also like same as 1930 minus 1638 here the difference is 2000 uh, sorry 292 Look here, all of the differences are same. This is one of the speciality of a magic square. Okay, let us go to the next problem. This is also related to a magic square. Look here, you can see a magic square here. What is the question here? In this magic square, what number is incorrect? Find that number. You can see a magic square here. one number is incorrect in this magic square how can we find we already know that the sum in row wise column wise or corner wise is same in a magic square what is the sum here how can we find it easily yes middle number into 3 but which is the middle number here 3175 So the sum is three thousand one hundred and seventy-five into three. What is the answer? Multiply this number. Yes, our answer is nine thousand five hundred and twenty-five. That means the sum in this magic square is nine thousand five hundred and twenty-five. Okay, let us add row wise and column wise. Look here. When I add these. Three numbers. I got the answer now nine thousand five hundred and twenty-five. These three numbers. The answer is also nine thousand two hundred and twenty-five. When we add, when I add these three numbers, the answer is eleven thousand five hundred and twenty-five. Okay, this is incorrect number. Okay, when I add these three numbers, our answer is eleven thousand five hundred and twenty-five. When we add these three numbers, the answer is nine thousand five hundred and twenty-five. Add these numbers, the answer is also nine thousand two hundred and nine thousand five hundred and twenty-five. In this row and in this column, the answer is incorrect. Which number is common in this row and this column? Which number is common? Yes, four thousand eight hundred and fifty is common number in this column and this row. So this number is the wrong one here. Okay. Now we find that this is the wrong one in this magic square. How can we find the correct number here? Okay, listen here. The incorrect sum is eleven thousand five hundred and twenty-five. Okay. First, we subtract four thousand eight hundred and fifty. That means the incorrect number from the incorrect sum. Okay, eleven thousand five hundred and twenty-five minus four thousand eight hundred and fifty. Incorrect sum and incorrect number. Difference between these two number. Okay. First, we find the difference between incorrect number and incorrect sum. Okay. Then we got the answer six thousand six hundred and seventy-five. Okay. The next step is uh, we subtract six thousand six hundred and seventy-five from the correct sum. That means nine thousand five hundred and twenty-five. Nine thousand five hundred and twenty-five minus six thousand six hundred and seventy-five. Okay. This is the second step. What is the answer? Two thousand eight hundred and fifty. That is the correct number here. Okay. When we replace four thousand eight hundred and fifty with two thousand eight hundred and fifty, our 
and magic square become correct okay 2850 this is the correct magic square first we subtract the incorrect number from the incorrect sum okay this is the first step then we got a an answer second step is uh, this answer is subtract from the correct sum correct sum is 9525 9525 minus 6675 then we got an answer this answer is the correct number in this magic square okay okay the next question is do it in head first question is 450 plus 475 450 plus 475 how can we do this we split 475 as 450 plus 25 then first we add 450 plus 450 0 plus 0 0 our next duty is only add 45 plus 45 what is the answer 90 so our answer is 900 then only 25 that means 900 plus 25 is equal to 925 we can do this in mind also no do not take pen or pencil okay regular practice okay the next step 1500 plus 1525 how can we split 1500 plus 1500 plus 25 okay like this first uh, the numbers in ones place and tens place is zero here so answer the ones place and tens place is also zero so our duty is only add 15 plus 15 what is the answer 30 30 and these two zeros what is the answer 3000 plus 25 3000 plus 25 3025 next one 2500 plus 2547 how can we split 2500 plus 2500 plus 47 2500 plus 2500 zero 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 answer is also zero our duty is only at 25 plus 25 what is the answer 50 50 and zero zero what is the number 5000 then plus 47 5000 plus 47 5047 The next one is one thousand two hundred and fifty plus one thousand two hundred and seventy. How can we split this? Yes, one thousand two hundred and fifty plus one thousand two hundred and fifty plus twenty. Okay, do these two like this as a homework. Okay, take your text page number fifty-three. Large and small. Okay, let us go to the first one. The sum of the largest two-digit number and the largest one-digit number. Okay, which is the largest two-digit number? Ninety-nine. Which is the largest one-digit number? Nine. Our duty is add these two numbers and find the answer. Then second question is sum of the largest three-digit number and the largest two-digit number. Which is the largest three-digit number? is yes, 9999 and the largest two digit number which is the largest two digit number yes 99 add these numbers like this read the following questions and find the answers i hope all of you understand today's class and thank you all have a nice day